Hey guys, and welcome to my first Xbox 360 playthrough that I've in a long time. This is. As soon as the title shows up, Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360, and also got re and also got a release for the PS3 and Wii and PS2. All right, now before we start anything, we are going to watch this beautiful cinematic opening cutscene right here. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Gotcha! What?
time, Eggman. Ah, uh, Sonic, that's a good look for you. Bestie, so long, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a pretty lengthy cutscene, wasn't it? <laughs> I will say, though, Sega really does know how to make opening cinematic cutscenes. By the way, this game is installed into my hard drive, so the loading times will not be bad. Hey, is it the Green Lantern? Okay. It's not the Green Lantern. Sonic met the Green Lantern. <laughs> wow, that would be such a crossover. What the heck is going on? Yo, what they face? Not just playing. Hey, look, it's a thing or hey, animal. Are you okay? Is it one of the little willing creatures you'd be fighting? You'd be saving? Hey. Apparently this one like to eat a lot. He's talking about he can't eat another bite. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Don't eat me. I taste bad. You okay? Nothing broken? Okay, that's not a woodland I'm creature. Fine. Thanks for asking, Mr. Monster Guy. Mr. Monster Guy? <laughs> Mr. Looks Monster like Guy. Pretty ugly. Mr. Monster Guy. Look at those teeth and those claws. What's your name anyway? I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And you Right are... now you're Sonic the Werehog. Huh? What is my name? I Sir, I, can't I do not know my name. What? You forgot who you are? Yep, I showed yep. you. I remember something falling from the sky, and everything just going all white, and then nothing. I can't remember a thing past that. You got amnesia. But the problem is, oh, man. oh wait, what, what the question you? is, is it as bad as shadows? No, apparently it's worse than shadows. Don't worry. I'll help you get your memory back. So, yeah, it is worse than Shadow because Shadow re at least remembered his own name. Shadow just couldn't remember his past or how he was created or something. You guys get the picture. Shadow the whole Shadow the Hedgehog game. Thing. Yeah. So Sonic agrees to get Chip his memory back. Hey, the sun's coming up. What goes up must come down. But hopefully the sun don't come down again. Alright. Anyway, so... This right here is the prime reason why people love this game so much. Because of these day stages. I mean, look at them. They are amazing. Look at this. This is amazing. The graphics are amazing. The days, the gameplay is just downright amazing. If this whole game was that, then the, then the critics, IGN would not have given this game such a low score. And oh snap, snap! I, this was a bad start. <laughs> that wasn't a good start. Anyway, yeah. Sonic fans call this game the best 3D Sonic game of all time. Wow. 
Why? Because of this. Oh wow, I jumped over that. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. So yeah, that was a little glimpse of the game we will be seeing here and we got an A rank. Awesome. Now, if this whole game was day stage, if this whole game was just all day stage, then Sonic would, then this would be the best Sonic game ever, because the day stages are amazing. Although they do have its problems, Sonic's controls are a little finicky at times, because platforming, in platforming sections, you have to be very careful, because Sonic goes so fast in this game. It's like he's literally going faster than the speed of sound. Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. That there chocolate chip cream Sunday supreme is the pride of the city. <laughs> the whole world can come tumbling down, but they'll still light up for a taste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey! What about your memories? Uh, chocolate chip Sunday. Is this what Chip remembers? <laughs> You remember the ice cream? something don't I what do you think yeah chip chip I love it yo now what do you say we start asking around and see if anybody here knows you okay so the name that Sonic gave him was chip now I want to explain this real quick this is the hub worlds now in the Wii and PS2 version what you do is that you go around and you actually have to talk to people in little paper cutouts and you just select the place you want to go to and bam you're there but here you actually have to walk around the whole world and unlike Sonic 06's hub world it's actually not a massive big void that you can't do anything in <laughs> yeah and you don't have to talk to people you just go all the way from point A to point B boom that's it There's a sun metal up there that I want to get. I'm going to restart that level just because I didn't get it. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I didn't explain this. Um, sun and moon metals in this game. You have to collect them in order to progress through the game. Yes, in each level you have to have a certain amount of sun and moon metals to progress through the game. Now... Did, why is this a problem? It's annoying collecting all those sun and moon metals. It is annoying. And it can really be a problem for you in day stages because you're going way too fast. I mean, look at how fast this is. You're going so fast in day stages, you won't have time to actually look around for a sun and moon metal half the time. I mean, it's ridiculous. And why are they hidden in the levels anyway? I mean, seriously, why are they? It's pretty dumb. Alright, got that moon metal right there. But I'm going to be collecting as many sun and moon metals as I possibly can because I'm going to need them. And also, the checkpoints also uses sort of like speed radars clock your speed and they tell you how many miles per hour you were going um, when you pass through that check when you pass through that checkpoint and as you saw there that last checkpoint I was going 1200 and something miles per hour and 
and for some reason also the homing attack is the X button I have no clue why and also quick time events this is something that people didn't like in the game well most gamers don't like quick time events and I can kinda understand where they're coming from here because we don't want to press one button and then the game does the thing for us that we want to do no we want to figure out stuff for ourselves people we want to do the we want to do the special trick for ourselves now in the day stages I don't have much of a problem with the quick time events because you have to because it requires a bit of amount of skill to press the buttons that you need to press in order to do that trick and take this other path up there like what you just saw but in the werehog levels and other levels in boss fights that's where the quick time events start to really ruin the game because especially when you press one button and then they do the button and then they do the thing for you I don't like that but we got an S rank and we also got an achievement unlocked called getting in the hang of things that is the that is the achievement for getting your first S rank and I got every sun medal in this game and three out of seven moon medals in this game that is not bad I don't think I explained this yet. This is actually, um, this is what you use your experience points for for every enemy you kill. For every enemy that you destroy, you get experience points, and you can use these to level up your speed and your ring energy for Sonic. And you can also switch to the Werehog and use them to level up your combat, strength, life, unleashed, and shield, but we'll get more into the Werehog when we actually do a werehog stage which is gonna be on the next part because on the last recording section I tried to record a werehog stage with this and the werehog stages are pretty long so yeah my phone has a 30 minute record 30 minute recording limit and I end up going over the limit and I couldn't record the whole thing maybe your memory will come back on its own Remember anything yet? So, after this, I'm gonna no. cut it. Oh well. Oh. Sonic. Oh, Mr. Monster Guy is back. Yeah, Chip, I got something to tell you. So when the sun goes down, I'm not like other hedgehogs. This? Yes, okay, yes, you do. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to be careful who sees me like this. Sonic, Sonic, look. What is it? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, it's hopeless. <laughs> oh, the ice cream man is crying. Because he found out that the whole planet was split apart. Oh wait, there's that purple stuff on top of his head. Oh yeah, by the way. There are actually some monsters we're going to meet later in this game. And it turns out one of those monsters actually possessed him. Which, yeah, they actually get inside people's body and they possess them. Which is what happened to this guy, which is why he's acting so weird. And also something else weird. Sonic's arm can stretch. Yeah, he got Rystar's powers. Alright, so I'm going to cut it right here. Because, as I said on the last recording session, I had tried to record the Werehog level with this too, but I couldn't because my phone has a 30 minute, 30, uh, 30 minute recording limit, so. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later, and then we will do our first Werehog stage. Goodbye.